All right, today I'm going to teach you how to prove this kind of trigonometry function question. So the first thing is, whenever you see the question like this, uh, you have a left-hand side and right-hand side. This is your left-hand side, this one will be right-hand side. So what I will do first is, I will choose a side with more information. So definitely we will choose the right-hand side, a uh, left-hand side here, because the left-hand side here actually have more information. Okay, so, so right now I want to prove my left-hand side will equal to my right-hand side. So what I will do right now is, I will try to see what I can change here. According to the information here, sine x, there's nothing I can change to sine x. So the only thing I can change will be my cotangent square x. So I have a formula for cotangent square x, which is cotangent square x will equal to cosecant square a minus 1, isn't it? So what I will do right now is, I will change it into the cosecant square x minus 1. Because I move the plus 1 to the other side, it will become minus 1, and then plus sine x. So right now, my ultimate objective is I want to get my final answer, which is cosecant x. So what I will do is, you need to know what is cosecant square x. So you see the third letter, 1, 2, 3. The third letter here is s, isn't it? So that means this one will be 1 over sine square x. So what I will do right now is I change this one into 1 over sine square x minus 1 plus sine x. Then what I need to do is just multiply sine x into the both here. So sine x multiply 1 over sine square x, I will get sine x over sine square x. And then this one I multiply, I get minus sine x plus sine x. So you can see minus sine x plus sine x, I can cancel it out, right? isn't it? Then this one I have double of the sine x, I cancel it out, I get 1 over sine x. What is 1 over sine x? This is cos second x. Then I will write proven. This is how easy we solve this kind of questions.